So let's talk about a few things to watch out for before you start using your diffusion filters. Hello big YouTubers, today I'm going to be going over some tips and few things that you guys should know before you start using your diffusion filters. The one I have is the Black Promise which is pretty popular these days among filmmakers and YouTubers. Anyway, those of you who don't know what this filter does, it reduces the highlights and contrast of your image and also softens your wrinkle and blemishes on your skin. And most importantly, it gives this bloom soft highlights on these lights. It makes it a little bit more, I don't know the word, cinematic vintage, I guess. It kills the digital sharpness that uh, most modern camera has. So I'm just going to be talking about a few things that you guys have to watch out for, uh, which I learned it the hard way. So uh, first thing is to check exposure. Uh, depending on the light, because this filter softens and reduces highlight. Sometimes you get a darker image than what you expect and sometimes you get more brighter image than what you expect. So when you're checking for exposure, try not to always go with your exposure meeting because it will change with and without the filter. I'll give you some examples where with the exact same framing, the exposure meter changes whenever I apply the diffusion filter on the camera. I know a lot of you guys have UV filter to protect your camera lens, but um, it's never a good thing to have multiple glasses in front of your um, camera lenses. So try to take off your UV filter and just use the diffusion filter if you guys can. Uh, because obviously UV filter doesn't really do much uh, on the image, but when you have two filters together, and try to shoot at some kind of a light source, it might give you like a weird flare or artifact. And the main reason to use this diffusion filter is to soften your image to reduce that digital sharpness that a lot of uh, modern camera has. And for me, uh, when I don't use the filter, I usually take down the sharpness of the camera to the lowest but make sure to actually adjust that uh, after you put on the filter because sometimes, depending on the strength of your filter, the actual image will look way softer than what you expect. So I learned it the hard way last time I actually used this filter, but my camera setting was still the lowest on the sharpness. So the image actually came out too soft for my likings. So try to check your sharpness level before you start using your filter. Your diffusion filter. Also, I just want you guys to know one filter will not have the same effect on every focal length. For instance, uh, when you're using a wider lens, you could probably use more stronger um, strength diffusion filter versus for telephoto side of things, you can you should probably use a weaker uh, strength filters because the outcome on different focal length with a same filter strength will be different. That's it for me today. Hopefully you guys actually liked my video. If it actually helped you guys out, please give me a like. And also if you guys want to see more camera related contents in the future, please subscribe and um, hit that notification bell. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.